呢个龙肠嚟噶，有牛牛噶，咁同中医咩关系呢？喺瑞士香蕉毫不起眼嘅龙肠，酝酿着一场点样嘅祭标盛宴呢 ？To master what you cannot see in the world is the most important element for me personally. Why, Mr. Beaver? 星战标坛五十几年执掌过 b r o m p a n Omega 同 Hubro 嘅神级品牌管理人，推出自家独立品牌腕表，会有啲咩睇头咧 ？I changed my life because of my son, and now the last twenty years must be devoted to bring something, to give back. 继续上一集，让我哋走入 Biva 呢对父子档嘅独立制表工作坊，同老 Biva 倾下世界中嘅美学同人生。我最初收到 Biva 呢个品牌总部嘅地址咧。有啲好奇，要先坐火車咧去到一個叫啲容嘅小城鎮，然後再坐十幾分鐘嘅車咧去到位於日夫蘭一個香蕉農場，就唔似得製標重鎮 b e n l a s o t a f o n 呢啲咁有完善製標產業嘅配套。嗱，點解 Biva 會揀呢度呢 b i v a 嘅仔 Pierre 咧就解答咗我疑問啦，就喺洞察到咧高明嘅品牌管理思路One of the most obvious is because we're so close to the Valley Jou, but at the same time we still remain in very close contact to Geneva and also a town called Lausanne, and we're quite close to the French border. And it enables us to be quite attractive for people to come here, and especially watchmakers that make the type of pieces we're making here. It's quite a fluid interaction with the big cities and hubs for clients and also for for our suppliers. It had been just restored. It was an old farm because we wanted to go back to the roots of watchmaking, which was、uh, often there were farmers that were making watches, and that's why we wanted to be in a scenery where also you can feel the atmosphere of high-end traditional watchmaking, neoclassic as we call it. At least that's what we strive for. And so here was also a great place because when you're from the outside, it looks like a farm.、Yeah. But when you come inside, it's a bit more contemporary. So it also really suits what we're trying to achieve as a brand. A little Biva, 咧五十几年嚟越靓表无数，咁我估你一定会觉得好奇啦。出自佢手笔嘅自家腕表，究竟会有咩睇头咧？一嚟咧，竟然嚟只三文陀飞轮。Should I start at the lower level, or should I start at the highest possible level? And I said, I must start from the top, because to reach the top should be my first priority, and the second priority is then once you have reached the top, then you come slowly down, and so make first the most complicated watch, and you have time after that to do a more accessible watch. 一般嘅三文表咧，通常兩個錘仔嘅啫，都有用三個錘仔，不過唔多。但係佢今次一一嚟咧，就用三個 hammers。有咩好咧？就即係可以增加到音符嘅組合，同埋音質嘅方面咧，佢唔單止清脆，仲雄厚嘅。佢標盤上邊咧用嘅材質咧好特別，係用啲石材嘅。佢呢個叫方立石，半透明嘅。佢有自己獨特嘅紋理，所以每一隻表嚟講咧，都係唔一樣嘅，呢、这個天然嘅。而呢一個石製嘅表盤咧，唔單止做到好薄，仲要拱形嘅，其實難度一啲都唔少。仲有一樣嘢，佢條鏈咧喺嗰條 brace 咧，其實做得好特別嘅，好似一個鋸齒形咁樣嘅，所以個質感咧係好強嘅。Today, especially on that reference, which is the Carillon Tourbillon, it is not our Essential goal to have chronometric performances. It is not something that characterizes the watch yes, in essence. Yes. 当精准咧唔再系品牌唯一制表嘅标准，究竟手表嘅个性同灵魂要点样先可以体现到出嚟咧 ？Biva 呢个品牌咧，其实都好透明嘅。佢都话俾人知，喂，佢哋机芯咧都系搵人打造嘅。佢嘅表壳啊、表盘啊、链带咧。一樣，咁所以成個 approach 有啲似 M B N F， 
，揾啲最叻嘅人，揾最叻嘅 supplier， 將最好嘢共嘢落。Here we do a montage à blanc. So we put the movements together. Yes. We make sure all the functions are running correctly,、yeah. and then we disassemble everything, clean them a second time, and reassemble. 过去咁多年，只要朗格咧会咁坚持做二次组装呢次瑞士之行，我睇到咧原来唔止一家高端嘅独立品牌咧采用二次组装，务求令到制表嘅细节咧更加完。All the components are decorated here,、uh, always with the traditional methods. We only buy local machines and very high quality. Although everything is still manually, we decorate 90% of our components in the movement, and we're talking about a movement with close to 400 components. 咁佢对自己腕表打磨 finishing 咧，都有一套好高嘅标准嘅，叫 JCB Steel。PP Steel 听过啦 ，JCB 咧就系老 Biva 嘅名嘅 initial 嚟嘅。What's really something specific about our seal and our decoration is that we decorate everything on all the faces, so front, sides, on、yep. glass, and underneath. But they have to be. The decoration for this fine, so beautiful bridge, there, front, front, side, side, front, front, side, 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 But extremely unpopular and unknown. Why? Because my vision is to now this is difficult to explain to master the invisibility in the product, to master what you cannot see in the watch, and what you cannot see. Is the most important element for me personally, and should be the most important element for my customer. And I tell my customer, if you buy a product, whatever it is, try, if you, if you can, to buy perfection. Why, Mr. Beaver? Because perfection is the way. To go to eternity, and every product that has the perfection and that brings you is close to God. It's close to eternity, and that has a value today, because eternity is what our ultimate goal.、Mm -hmm. Many people say, "Yeah, but." You polish the wheel, the the wheels, and you polish screws that nobody see because they are inside the, the the case. I say it's because nobody see that I polish on purpose, and when I polish all the invisible parts of the movement, then the soul slowly. Can get out of the watch, and when the soul get out of the watch, then it comes to the user, to the customer, and the customer gets a feeling he doesn't exactly know, but that's the beauty of the soul.、Mm. And if I can give a soul to each watch we produce, then I have, then I have achieved, and I will produce twenty. Twenty-five, maybe thirty watches per year, but watches that are talking to the customer, but they talk without language. They talk with the soul. The soul, yeah. And the soul,、yeah. the two souls are meeting, <laughs> and that's what I want to do. You can see the Mont Blanc there, the highest mountain. That is like life. If you project to do a company, in the beginning it seems not so difficult, but once you are <laughs> in it, then you realize、yes. how difficult, difficult it is. Sure. And it's the same in business. 喺商業社會裏邊咧，製錶唔係一個好快收益嘅產業啊。咁老 Biva 以七十五歲高齡就破呢粒種子啦，會唔會太遲咧？佢係為咗乜嘢咧？ 
Walter Lange established the brand when he was 65. I think you will be the, the oldest one to establish a watch brand yeah. Yeah, in the world. <laughs> Talk about the high-end one, eh? or the low-end. Eh? I'm 75, exactly. Yeah, see? Good. Sorry, Mr. Lange, I beat your record. <laughs> Why now to establish your brand? Why, Why now? now? Be <coughs> because it's now or never. I am 75. If I don't do it now, I cannot wait till I'm dead to do it. This is a brand, it's kind of a father and son relationship. Yes, father uh, and son relationship, yeah. absolutely. And it's interesting to see, can such a brand still exist in our world of today? Yeah. In the 18th century, they were all like this, because every brand was papa and son. Yeah, true, very true, very true. <laughs> now, is there any example? And I want it to be, I want to show. I changed my life because of my son. And when this baby was born in 2000, I said I have to become again an entrepreneur so that he can learn from me oh, entrepreneurship. I, I don't want to be uh, 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 an administrative guy, a board member, this is okay. But for this young guy, I would like him to experience a papa that goes very early morning to the office, takes him with me, etc. Can you do that in a big group? No. Because in the big group there are certain rules there's and certain you cannot rules. come with yeah. your son yeah. on yeah. Sunday morning. Cannot, cannot, cannot. cannot. Yeah. So because of this, I, I decided I would have to change my lifestyle because I don't want my son to have me as grandfather, but to have me as father. And I want to be a young father. And that is why I am taking over Ublo to show him and to teach him what entrepreneurship means. I see. When did you know your father is a legend in the industry? <laughs> when do you know that? I always knew. <laughs> When you were only one year old, I don't think so. <laughs> he is, he's a legend outside the industry as well. Wow, in what ways? All the ways a legend <laughs> is. An example? I you know his attitude, the way he wakes up in the morning, his haircut. <laughs> haircut? I beg your pardon. <laughs> Pierre, so far, what do you learn from your father? It's difficult, everything. Everything. You know, it's... Uh, just the, the philosophy, the way of working, the, the, the ethics, uh, everything. Something very useful I learned from my father that is, uh, you know, when there's a problem or when you have to make a decision, sometimes you have to take a decision slowly and very calmly. Yes. And sometimes you have to hit on the table. But it's not always easy to differentiate when you have to do one and when you have to do the other. And this is something I learned with him. There are certain problems you can let go and, you know, you have to be calm and other problems you have to deal with them straight away and this is something you can only learn by experience by yeah into it and, and knowing about these things so this is something very important that uh, i learned from my father each problem has another way to to attack it or to solve it true. you cannot have one rule for every problem no oh, very true you learn from the best teacher in the world <laughs> <laughs> lucky you If it becomes successful or not, it doesn't matter. But if the vision is right, and the vision is Papa and Son, and the vision is to show that you can give back. And this is a lesson for all the other people that are my age. And it's also a lesson for all the young Papas who can say, oh, that's a great idea. I should do that also with my son. And then my contribution is there. When you come close to death, to your, the last, at 75, I, I can say easily, I have another 20 years to go, finished. And that's already a lot. And now the last 20 years must be devoted to bring something, to give back. 
if I can give back for the last 20 years all my experience, all my doubts, all my successes, all my, my failures, if I can give this back, then it has been useful.